No yawning. <laughs> hey everybody, I'm Steve Piacenza and we have a really exciting show. And I'm Kathy Fillion and on this Make It With Mod Podge, we are exploring 15 plus tools for Mod Podge. Well, no time to waste, let's get started. Let's do it. The foam brushes and brayer squeegee set are the most basic tools one needs for decoupage. The brushes come in four sizes. They are a great value. Their plastic handles are durable and they clean up with soap and water. Use your brushes to apply Mod Podge to your paper and projects. Use the brayer to remove wrinkles and ensure a firm bond. The brayer is three and three quarters inch wide and washes with soap and water. The squeegee is perfect for corners. It smooths paper and fabrics. You can also use the foam brushes for top coating. The seven piece tool set features Mod Podge basics all in a pouch. This is great for retreats and crafts on the go. The large scissors are great for long even cuts. The small scissors are great for detail cuts and trimming Mod melts. I really love the emery board. I use it to create distressed edges. The silicone craft mat protects your work surface. It's non-stick, washable, and 600 degrees heat resistant. Cooled glues and melts peel right up. It's a landing pad for all your high temp tools. The Mod Melter has a silicone tip and handle. It has an easy trigger and an on-off switch. The cord is six foot long and it has a built-in stand. Use the Mod Melter to fill Mod Molds with Mod Melt Sticks. Or for any hot glue needs. Protect your fingers from burns with hot glue finger caps. You get three in a pack. The set of 10 detail paint brushes comes with a spotter, liners, round and flat paint brushes. They are perfect for painting Mod Melts and for jewelry design. The three-piece silicone tool set helps with all your gluing needs. They are heat resistant. The paddle can be used to spread glue evenly. The silicone tip tweezers easily pick up gems. The corners can be used to pick up a small amount of glue. It also works great for applying paint or glue to an edge. It wipes clean and it's non-stick. The press wand keeps your fingers safe when working with hot glue or hot melt. Use the blunt end to press embellishments into hot glue. The tipped end is great for smearing hot melt and for paints. Cooled melt peels right off. The 4-inch brush applicator has gold Taclon bristles. They apply smooth without brush marks. The handle is comfortable to hold and is perfect for large surfaces. The 2 and a quarter inch brush has the same bristles as the 4-inch brush. The smaller size makes it perfect for small projects. The furniture brushes work great with Furniture Mod Podge. You get a 2 inch and a 3 inch brush. They have the same Taclon bristles. The long handles are perfect for working on furniture. The Decoupage brush set comes with three brushes. You get a half inch, a 3 quarter, and a 1 and 1 eighth. The bristles are short. The short bristles make it easy to press papers into ornate surfaces. They work great when you're Mod Podging with napkins and thin paper. The sponges are great for applying Mod Podge to small spaces and to Mod Melts. The roller tops are great for kids and groups. Pour Mod Podge into the bottle 
attach the roller and apply. Wash with soap and water. They also attach to two ounce paint bottles. The tracing templates are stencils for cutting paper. You get 26 sheets with alphabets and shapes. Have you woken up yet, Kathy? <laughs> I did have some coffee, but hey, in all fairness, I have two kids now, so. It's true, you are tired. <laughs> But what a day, huh? What about all those tools from Mod Podge? It's a lot. Mm. And we hope that you liked learning about them. You know, all those tools were designed so that you could have a great crafting and decoupage experience. Yeah. And if you love our videos, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time on Make It With Mod Podge. Bye. You know what? I'm going to make you an iced cappuccino right Thank now. Thank you. Let's go. Come on. <laughs>